About a month or so ago, I had a life-threatening reaction to chemotherapy during my chemo session. I'll put a link to that below. Just recently, I had another one, and this is a video telling about how that went and what is going to happen in the future because of having two very bad chemotherapy reactions that really did threaten my life. So this is the story about the time that the chemo tried to kill me rather than trying to kill the cancer. Day one of the, a new cycle of chemo. So I do it every Monday. So for three weeks and then we'll have one week off. So I have one week off. I went far too quick. It's hard to believe that yesterday we were down watching Beauty and the Beast. Today, back to chemo. And I've been feeling really tired since I got home. So I presumed it was just from having a big weekend. Woken up tired and the old telltale swollen eyes. And this one hasn't been swollen for a while and it is. So keeping an eye on that. And I think this shoulder's a bit swollen too. Anyway, um, down the corridor here is radiation and on Wednesday I have a planning scan for that so I still have to find out whether they can do radiation in the center of my chest they've already done a lot of it so normally they wouldn't but the consequences of not doing it could also be dire so she was ringing up the guy who had put the stent in to see whether the stent would be able to um, yeah, it would not get damaged during radiation. So I'm really hoping that it can because if we could shrink those tumors that are pressing onto the stent, that would be awesome. But for now, I'm just waiting for my name to get called. I hope I don't have another emergency on my hands, but Okay, had another reaction and now waiting for over an hour. Um, I always knew that cancer was the bad guy that was trying to kill, kill me. What, what do I do when the chemo becomes the bad guy and is also trying to kill me? That's what happened today and here's the story of what happened. I fronted up to hospital. Uh, things went underway, all seemed to be going well, got all the pre-meds. I think I'm getting a little bit more used to Finergan because wasn't half as sleepy as I was last time. So finished the Paclitaxel, I was doing carbo Carbotaxel, we'll shorten the uh, big long chemo drugs down to a short name. I started with the Carboplatin, which is the one that I've had a reaction to before underway things seemed to be going fine I went to the toilet I came out and a few minutes later I thought here we go and I could feel my face burning red I had already made sure that I knew where the buzzer was in the morning when I started and I hit that buzzer and as I was hitting the buzzer my chest was getting tighter uh, I was finding it more difficult to breathe again and everyone came running. <laughs> Actually, the, there was a nurse next door and she could see I was flushed. She said, I, are you having trouble breathing? And I'm like, just, and they were deciding, do we hit the emergency button? What did they call it? I've forgotten what they called it. Uh, anyway, uh, after a couple of minutes, they, they were like, yep. So I had the ICU doctor come running and special nurses with carts and, all the rest of it, but they got it all under control. And my oncologist got it all under control again. And my oncologist said, that's it. Can't do this drug again, which I agree. I can't have a drug that kills me. So Carboplatin, which was the good guy, you know, you've got actors and some of them play the good guy all the time. And they're like, we want to play the bad guy. We want to have a, you know, and then they have so much fun being the bad guy. 
Well, it seems like Carbo Platten did that. He's like, I don't want to be the good guy anymore. I'm going to be the bad, bad guy. And um, now he's out of a job with me. So, yeah. The worrying thing is my oncologist doesn't know what to do next now. Whether it's worthwhile just doing, doing paclitaxel on its own, whether there's another cocktail we can continue with, and radiation is possibly going to be a thing. And after today, he would like to expediate it. Day after chemo reaction. You can see I'm very red in the face. I often am red in the face on day two. I think I'm a little bit more red than usual. So, which is no surprise considering I went very red in the face yesterday after the, uh, during the infusion when it went badly. Anyway, I'm about to hop in the shower. Let's see if makeup helps it. I've, oh, I just took my watch off to, oh, I don't even know where it is. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Okay, it was 11.30, so I have been going very slowly. I took a while to get out of bed. I have started cleaning the kitchen, went around, collected some laundry, pulled some laundry out of the machine, but Alex put all of that on the line. As I was picking things up, my pick line started to hurt, and I, I lifted it up because I often check it to check it's not bleeding, and there was like, felt like a bubble um, and yeah, there was like this bubble of pus coming out of it. So I thought, okay, but, uh, take it easy. So I've probably haven't been using my time while I've been watching a YouTube video. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> and yeah, just trying to do a few things, but not overdo it. So I should get in the shower now and I wanted to head in and see Liz. All right, showered. <laughs> a uh, scarf on i i forgot that i didn't have anything on my head before when i was showing you my red face which isn't quite as red um i thought i'd do it in the same lighting made my bed now but yeah you can see it's not quite as red but if i go where there's a bit of natural sunlight that's not too bad but still a little bit red that's okay Yes, I don't really, I'm just going to sit on my bed again. I don't really like um, myself without hair. <laughs> so uh, I just had a friend tell me, I sent a picture showing her something. It's like, oh, you look like your brother, which I do. And when I my hair is falling out, I really look like my grandfather. So, <laughs> but yes, I feel like myself when I have turbans and scarves on and I don't feel like myself as much in wigs and they're hot and scratchy. Uh, but sometimes I have got the one wig and sometimes I pull it out. Especially say for instance, I wore it to my sister's 40th birthday because I know that she prefers wigs over the turbans. So I did that for her, which is fine. Um, yep, so ready to go into town yes and i should comment on my easter earrings i bought them in brisbane on the weekend and it might be a little bit early to be wearing easter earrings but i've got them and what a little fine for five bucks they were supposed to be seven bucks but the lady said i'll give them to you for five which is what the price would have been if i bought more than one but anyway it's a little bit fun. I just wore a pink shirt and they were just sitting there on the bench. So I thought, oh, I'm going to put them on. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm posting this on Good Friday. So happy Easter to everybody. How fitting it is on Good Friday to remember the love and the saving grace of Jesus and his crucifixion on the cross. And I'm looking forward to celebrating even more the fact that he was risen on the Sunday. So happy Easter to you all. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.